Hi, and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. So today you've seen the release of the latest version of Elementor, which is version 1.8. And that brings with it one incredibly large update, and that's the ability to have live inline editing of your text. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that new inline editing, how it streamlines the whole process of creating and editing your content, and how you can start using it in your development of your website. So the version 1.8 of Elementor and the new inline editing tools, they're not restricted to the pro version. You will have this if you're using the free version or the pro version. So you have full access to this new update. If you are considering purchasing pro and you'd like to support this channel, please consider using the affiliate link in the description below. Because a small percentage back to every single sale costs you no more money and it helps support the channel and create new content for you every single week. Well, let's take a look at how the inline editing works. I've created a basic page and I've inserted a text editor text block in there. So we've got everything we'd normally expect to see. Now, if I click to activate this, you'll see on the left hand side in our area, our widget area, the normal editing text ed editor area is still evident in there. So we can still edit in the way that we've become accustomed to from just using the editor. If you're happy with that, you can carry on working that way. But now you can come over to the actual text itself and we can click inside that text block and we can start adding content, editing content, applying things like links and so on. So to do that, we can simply click in there. And if we want to start typing, we can do that quite easily. So we can say, let's insert a heading here. So we now have a heading set in there. We've input that directly into the page itself. We can now highlight that and you see we now get a context sensitive menu pop up, give us some additional options. So we can do things like bold, underline, italic, add links in there, set different headings and so on. We can show markers, we can set quite a few different options from within this. So you'll see that if I wanted to make this into a heading, I can simply come to H1 and say hey, we're gonna set this to heading two. That'll now pick up the styling. If I want to do something like insert a bulleted list in there, I can easily do that. So let's just go to the next line, insert some text in there. We'll just highlight that and we'll specify this is going to be a list. And we'll see, we can choose from a bulleted list or a numbered list. So let's just choose bulleted. You can see that all money picks up the indent and we can go to the next line, next line, next line, and so on. Go to the next line, press the backspace. You know, all the normal things you'd expect when you're dealing with any kind of inline editing. If we want to make something a link, we can simply highlight it, come up and click on the link option. You can see we can now insert the actual link URL. We also have the option to specify this will open up in a new window. So simply just clicking on this checkbox means that that will now open up in a new window. So we can test that out and we can just click and open. You know, all the things you'd expect to see from any kind of editing, all the normal tools you kind of see up in the main sort of text editor itself. So that really does help streamline the whole process of editing your text inline inside Elementor and Elementor Pro. A really good addition to this software. And like I say, completely free. You can use this with the free version. Version. That's all there is to it. That's how easy it is to use the new 1.8 update and the inline editing option that you now have available. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.